Willard Hall, a.k.a. Alpha Phi Willard, a.k.a. Franz, is a pretty large southern dorm. But what does it have to offer to the Northwestern community? Let's find out. Willard has some exceptional dorm rooms. Let's go check out a bedroom here. Jacob, hi. Just not my name. What do we got going on, Claire? Nothing, literally nothing. I mean, I know you got a lot on your plate, but if you could just, I don't know, just show us around real quick. Okay, um, well, this is my bed. Um, it is in fact a bed. Um, luckily, it's right next to the windowsill. So I have a nice view. Um, yeah, we were both film majors, so she brought all the movie posters with her. Oh, that's nice. So we have like a retro thing going on over here. Over here, it's just a mess. Nice. This is actually one of the bigger dorms on the, the fifth floor. Luckily we, luckily, we got put on the fifth floor, which is like half a floor. So oh. we're smaller than most floors. But um, we have the same amount of heart. Not really. No uh -oh. one here really uh -oh. cares. So uh, Willard's got, got a lot going on here. I mean, it's a really nice big room. Very true. Um, I think this is actually the second, third biggest in, in this building. Wow. Yeah, we got okay. very lucky. Yeah, so it doesn't get much better than this. <laughs> but if you are lucky as Claire, then that's good enough. Yeah, this all happened just by chance. Yeah. So this dorm was uh, rebuilt last year. Uh, people were living in Hinman for the quarter. Ugh. <laughs> but <laughs> this is the first year that it's back, so it's brand new. It's spick and span and spiffy. So um, yeah. honestly, it's a brilliant room. This room specifically, I think, is better than most. <laughs> um, so like, oh. that's that. But <laughs> I mean, I'm just we're gonna give it a twenty. I mean, there's literally nothing wrong with this room. I mean, you gotta yeah. look at the other rooms. I know, but like Willard overall, like rooms though. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, that's true. Our our uh, facilities within each room are tip top. Fantastic. Tippity tip top 24 bedrooms. Let's move on to our next category. Which I was thinking about that word category. category. I couldn't figure it out. I've never been in a girl's bathroom before. Wow, okay. Um, is this like. Yeah, it is a problem. Um, you, you can't have to. Oh, this is where it's like you work out there. while you wash your yeah, face. Yeah, you have to squat. Squat. I see, interesting. Willard bathrooms have a lot to offer, but there are some things that you would expect that aren't quite the same. Let's look at this a little bit closer, shall we? So, we have the normal mirror over here, but we've got a mini mirror by the sink? Question mark? Um, it appears as though there are two possibilities. There are dwarves living on the fifth floor of Willard, or this is an exercise bathroom. So you squat to wash your face. But also, we have these, uh, these diagonal rooms. Oh, that's useful for when... What? Oh, yeah. Large, spacious. You can pull up. If you want to work out, um, two rack things for towels and other items, and plenty of space, two curtains. I'm liking it. It's good. It's a great shower. Um, there are two of them. Some dorms have three, some dorms have one. This is a smaller floor. This so is a smaller floor, that's true. So there are fewer people on this floor, so there are fewer everythings, and then they assume that they're going to be shorter. It's just like a whole thing. Wow, lots of space in here for you to. Um, Prepare for your poop. You know, that's kind of an underrated thing. You know, prepare for your poop. There's a lot of exercise room. Exercise is very, uh... I think squatting is this. probably the main theme of this entire dorm, or at least this floor. And so I really appreciate that. They're really pushing that envelope of, like, exercise. <laughs> Automatic. Automatic. I like it, baby. I like it. Four floors have normal everything. Four floors have 20. This floor has 18. So we can round it up to like a 19. 
Because it's basically 19. For like the whole dorm, what are the chances you're going to be on this floor? You know, Reasonable. not that high. So, um, 19 for bathrooms, lavatories, I mean. <laughs> All right, let's talk location. Willard is a pretty nice location. Um, it's probably the furthest south dorm of any of the other dorms. It's the furthest away from everything, but it's, it's pretty nice and it's large. What I'll say is that if you want to go eat somewhere, or if you want to go to class, you're going to have to go a little bit further than any of your other South counterparts. That being said, Willard's also the closest to downtown Evanston, which is where a majority of the cool food, clothing, and entertainment options in the Evanston area are. So, all things considered, the location isn't great, but it's not terrible. But compared to other dorms, it's pretty bad. <laughs> um, Especially on the set. So, I would personally give it a 12. 12? Because like, okay, like, I think Shepard got like 16 or like 15. Really? Only? Yeah. Well, okay. It's just, it's it's close to Allison, decently close to Allison. It, okay, fair. You have food in the basement and uh, that's actually very convenient. Okay, 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 all right. Upon further consideration, thank you. On uh, done by myself and none, nobody else. Definitely. <laughs> um, you know, I'll. Hmm. You know, well. Hmm. We'll give her a thirteen. Thank you. <laughs> Willard Hall, 13 for location. Let's move on to our next category. Close your legs. No. Slip. Jeez. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It's just an elevator. Okay. Study rooms, if you're into that. Let's let's check out the gym now. Haha, <laughs> nice. Oh, I've actually never been in here. So, the Willard Gym is a lot of aerobic material. We have some loose weights over here. We've got some, um, some, what is this? What is it? The elliptical, right? That's an elliptical. Oh, what is this? Treadmill. This is a treadmill. Wait, I want to try it. So, the Willard um, Gymnasium has a lot to offer in terms of aerobic material, loose weights, etc. It kind of falls short with machines. There's not really any weight machines for weight distribution to target specific areas. So if you're into that, you're gonna have to go to Blom or to SPAC, the main large gymnasiums in this area. Otherwise, if you're into aerobics like me, you'll love it. Brayden? Hey Claire. What's up? Yeah, not too much. Just <laughs> trying to get ready for Spanish today. What time is your Spanish class? 12 o'clock, which is great because it's my first class of the day. Do we have some time to ask you some questions about the social life here? Oh, I suppose we do. Ah. I don't want to ask them. You are the host oh. of this. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just take a seat. So, Brayden, is that your name? It is indeed, Jay. How are you doing this morning? Good, man. Good to see you. So, um, how long have you been living at Willard? Uh, well, this is wrapping up roughly eight months now, I think. Wow! Started, wow. started the year here, and it's been a great experience. Yeah, you've been you've been liking it so far. Yeah, it's been wonderful. It's definitely kind of made the whole freshman year at Northwestern thing go round. Why would you say that? Like, does it supply like social outlets, or what? What does Willard provide that you feel like you really needed as a freshman? I mean, Willard as a whole provides kind of the whole experience. Franz Cafe in itself is a wonderful thing. Um, we've got, you know, great facilities. There's the workout room. We've got one conference room. We've got this great collaboration space to work on homework and whatnot. Um, and not even to mention the Waffle, which is our first floor lounge. It provides a lot of great opportunities literally every week just to go and hang out with people. There's movie nights on Saturdays. There's a uh, sit-down sitcom on Wednesday and literally even last night there were I probably joined 30 other people from the Southwest neighborhood 
and just played trivia in the great room by the piano wow. for probably an hour and a half. Um, there, it just Willie really provides a lot of things that I think other dorms don't always have the capacity to provide. Um, and on top of that, Willard, even from the very beginning of the year, did a really good job getting everybody engaged. Mm -hmm. So the people that you know got started and wanted to be engaged in Willard are still engaged and actively participate in going to these events and being part of the community. And it really helps tighten those bonds. Sweet. Thanks, man. Yeah. Have fun at your Spanish class today. I will certainly try. <laughs> All right. That was Brayden. Thanks, Brayden. You're welcome, Claire. <laughs> Sweet. So we're in a space called the Waffle. Um, Waffle being, of course, an acronym for Willard First Floor Lounge. Um, there's a large table that I see people doing a multitude of things. Another kitchen, like Willard needs another kitchen. Large TV for your viewing pleasure. All this room for recreation and fun. And of course, Elam Blackwell social chair. What would Francis do? Um, so as you can see, this, this piece of contemporary art is so crucial to the Willard experience because it encompasses the struggle of the Northwestern student now and the struggle of the woman before. Need I say any more? Yeah. Fran's Cafe is the hallmark of Willard social life. Fran's is essentially a dining hall for those who don't want to go to the dining hall. Now, you have to use your dining dollars in order to pay for Franz, or you can use real money. But Franz is open from the convenient hours of 7 to 2? Yeah, it, it used varies. to be 8 to 2 when they changed it, I think. All right, cool. So, um, <laughs> Franz hours, um, they, they fluctuate, but it's open later than any dining hall, and essentially everybody comes to Franz at night. Willard is consistently full of people from all dorms who come to socialize and to eat the beautiful fruit food that comes out of this haven of youth and well-being. What kind of food do they serve here? Oh my goodness, Franz has the worst possible food for your body, Aww. but the best possible food for your taste buds. And your soul. And your soul. We're talking burgers, chicken wangs, quesadillas, what else do they have? Like milkshakes Chicken that are way overpriced. Fries. Huh? Fries, yeah. Um, like, I mean, it's a bunch of fried food, basically. It's real good. It's real good. Um, and when you're fiending at night, Franz is the spot, baby. Franz is a huge asset to Willard and bumps its amenity score way, way up. The community of Willard is basically a lot of people plus a lot of events equals a lot of so sociality, you know, people working together and doing things together. Socialize. Everybody in Willard pretty much knows at least of everybody in Willard, which is something that a lot of dorms can't say. Um, so yeah, 20 for social life and amenities for Willard. We're sweeping here. It's calculating time. Willard Hall, what an exceptional hall. We all knew that, but what's the verdict? Well, Willard has reached an astounding balls rating of 92 points. 92, that's right. It's the highest dorm we've rated so far. Amenities at 20, bedrooms at 20, social life at 20. Then we've got lavatories at 19 and location at 13, just because it's so far away, but overall, what a great dorm and what a great experience. I would highly suggest Willard to anybody who's looking to live at Northwestern and to live South, if possible. There are a bunch of other great options and those are also <laughs> great, but Willard so far has been the best. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for North Campus next week. See ya.